Hi, I'm Joseph Shimizi, sales support engineer for Sony Electronics, and I'm here at NAB with uh, a two of our brand new cameras. We have our SRW9000 2 3rd inch model and our brand new SRW9000 PL model. The SRW9000 is the newest addition to a family of Cine Alta cameras that have had a very successful uh, history within the digital uh, digital cinema community. One of the most significant things that's uh, present in these two cameras, the SRW9000 PL and the SRW9000 2 3rd inch model, is that these are native SR camcorders. And this is the first time Sony's been ever, ever been able to do this, where we can take the, our master quality format, HD Cam SR, capable of recording 444 color at 440 megabits and 880 megabits, and do it in the body of the camera itself. So now you can re record master quality video in the camera. Some of the other features present in the SRW9000 that are also carryovers from the, from the 23 and the 35 are the ability to do over cranking and under cranking. There are picture cache modes that are included with optional boards. Um, and they're really just meant to do what film cameras are meant to do, give you the off-speed capability, give you a wide dynamic range, and also wide color representation. In terms of picture and paint control, at, these, at this level of camera, we try and give you as many handles as you can possibly need. You, have, you can interface with those handles through the camera itself, through things like our assistant panel, uh, and this comes as an, uh, as an optional accessory for the SRW9000, so that when an operator is using the camera and you're working in a Cine-style cine working environment, the assistant can operate full menus of the camera and even run the camera without ever having to disturb the operator. We've also included our Sony S-Log Gamma Curves. And what Sony S-Log Gamma Curves are designed to do is work with the hardware of the chip, the heart, which, the heart of these cameras, which is their sensors, both the 2 3rd inch and the PL, and maximize for you the most dynamic range that that semiconductor is capable of producing. And in the F35, and the, and the SRW9000 PL, and the uh, SRW9000 2 3rd inch model, you're dealing with 12 stops of dynamic range. Sony recognizes that cameras at this level need to be an investment. So let's say you come in and you need uh, a 2 3rd inch high-end HD camera. The SRW9000 2 3rd inch is a great option for you, but needs change over time. So what we've also now included as a uh, part of the idea of this product is the ability to upgrade. So as time goes on, let's say you need to start doing 35 mil projects or you need that depth of field or that those lunging options become essential for you to do your work, you can upgrade the 2 3rd inch SRW9000 to, the, to, th to a 35 mil sensor SRW9000 PL. Also, as time goes on, we will be able to take the tape recording mechanism out of our SRW9000 cameras, both PL and 2 3rd, and replace them with a solid state recording option, which will allow you to record what we're calling SR memory. And SR memory will have one terabyte cards that allow you to record our 880, our 440, and a new mezzanine codec that we're calling SR Lite that comes in at 220 megabits. So from there, we don't, these aren't cameras that you're going to have to worry about in four years getting a new one. The decision in four years if you buy an SRW9000 is what do I want to turn it into? My name is Tatsuro Kurachi. I'm based in Park Ridge, New Jersey. I'm from Sony Electronics, Broadcast and Pro Production Systems Division. You're actually seeing their PMW EX1R, which we started shipping um, last November. What we have done are major upgrades and improvements over the EX1. And above, above all, in my personal opinion, the 1.2 million pixel viewfinder is a biggie. It allows the people to have a more crisp focus on the object that they're shooting. XD Cam EX has half inch full raster 1920 1080 imagers, CMOS imagers. CMOS has better low light sensitivity um, compared to the CCDs. Uh, lower power consumption, which immediately means longer battery life. And number two, since this uses low power, we can make the camera very, very small. It has two uh, memory slots, and with our firmware, you can record onto SDHC class 10 cards as well as memory sticks. So the price, cost per minute of the recording has gone down substantially. Uh, we also added uh, the cache recording function on the EX1R. This is a major, another major improvement over EX1. You can record up to 15 seconds of uh, mem uh, footage even prior to you pushing the rec button. So that enables the shooter to avoid miscapturing the moment you might want to take. What we have right in front of you is the NX Cam camcorder we started shipping uh, this past January. 
The imager inside is 130 inch uh, clear vid XMOR sensors. It has the uh, both of best worlds. It enables the camcorder to be very, very small and uh, low power consumption, yet you have the great sensitivity. One thing I might want to also highlight is this HXR FMU128 solid state drive. And by adding this on, you have almost over 11 hours, 11, not 11 minutes, 11 hours worth of highest bit rate video and audio recording. With this interface, you can hook this up onto your PC, such that from the PC, it will look as an external drive. So you start editing while the shooting continues. The number one difference between NXCAM and XDCAM EX is NXCAM is using one third inch imagers, whereas XDCAM is using half inch imagers. So obviously, if you use larger sensor imagers, you have better depth of field control, but again, it comes with a price. If you're on a budget, but don't want to sacrifice picture quality, maybe NXCAM is the choice of your camera. If you have more leeway in spending, maybe XDCAM EX, with a better depth of field control, you might want to reach out to XDCAM EX.